the disc doctors are in. You can just say it completely. Okay, I'm ready now. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of these dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, out of the doors, there's only two yeah. that are worth being. I don't want to talk about them. Doc and Happy. Yeah, Doc, I don't care. Happy is happy because of Doc. I don't care. Anyway, I, welcome to the Disc Doctors. I'm Stephen Sashin, and I'm not a dwarf. And I'm sleepy. Are you having <laughs> computer troubles? We are here to help you. Speaking of computer troubles, this just in from uh, <laughs> USA <laughs> Today. <laughs> Check this out. This is a computer, the computer glitch of the 90s. Computer glitch of the 90s. Guy in Montana, Gallatin County or something like yeah. that. Routine traffic ticket, pays the ticket thinks the whole thing's over. Guy in Montana gets a ticket, but it's routine, and he pays it. But no, it's, it's not over, over Todd. It is not <laughs> even close to over. Well, tell me about it, Stephen. Why is it not Instead over? Instead of wiping out the ticket, they change the charge. They Just change a little it. Bit. Reckless like driving. Computer it's, problem, is it a DUI? A DUI can be very serious in Montana. Deviant sexual misconduct. Oh, boy. Just a little deviant. Yeah. Which in Montana is saying it's something. A, yeah, you're, in many to states, do. that would be and, big. And, oh, but then it gets better. Yeah. Because then the computer has to send this along with other reports to the... Newspaper. So the computer's already made a mistake, and now it's automatically sending, sending it to the, it to the newspaper. newspaper. So sort of police the newspaper, of course, prints, prints it. it. That's, and uh, then his wife good. reads it. <laughs> and then he's got to explain that. She's gone. I wondered why you could never buy me a dress to fit. And he's going, no, no, no. He's trying to explain it. And she ships him off for treatment. Oh, man. So if you think you have computer problems, think again, pal. That's right. We're going to talk to Bob now, and Bob cannot <laughs> possibly have a problem with that bad. Bob, how you doing? This is great. Yeah. How, how, where are you from? Uh, Benson Harbor, Michigan. Michigan. So that's uh, that's not close enough to Montana to really worry. Starts with an M, though, and that's yeah. enough for me. you got to watch those M cops. And what's, <laughs> right. what's, your computer? what's uh, the problem there, Bob? Okay, my parents uh, have a gateway uh, computer. Right. And uh, they're, they have... They have set up uh, for themselves two uh, internet service uh, providers. Are they having a fight? Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, what, what, what the problem is uh, that they are that they have two email uh, accounts uh, yeah. from these... Uh, two Internet service providers. From the, yeah, inter Internet well, service nothing providers. nothing gets by me. <laughs> and th they're having a problem with uh, sending mail out. But they're, they're, okay, but they can get mail in, right? Right. But they're having trouble sending mail out from one of the accounts or both of the accounts? Uh, from both accounts. Both of the accounts. Uh. We well, know what this problem is. They need to get one of those Bob and Bertha, you know, at gateway.com accounts and stop this two account stuff. Or, or AOL. Get AOL. Don't That's get AOL. Answer. Okay, thanks no, for the call. No. <laughs> no, it's we, a, it's we, a basic we, configuration issue, Ren. Todd clearly has an answer. Yes, <laughs> it is a basic configuration issue. Would you like to continue? No. Mr. Smarty no. Pants? Okay, when you're dialing in to a particular ISP... <laughs> You can have problems with the, the junk mail, the, the, the filters Spam. they have on there. They don't want people sending mail from X account through, your, through an ISP and sort of right. spoofing and then sending it out on right. the internet. So like if my, if my ISP is, you know, Bob.com, you know, Bob I could log on to Bob.com, but if I wanted, I could send mail through WhiteHouse.gov. For yeah. example, yeah, if you wanted to do I'm that. just saying. It just gives some credibility to your product. <laughs> <laughs> so to avoid that, they, they keep you from doing that. That means you need to send mail from, from the account you're dialing correct. into, and you also need to make sure your email uh, program is correctly configured. Uh, correct. In other words, um, which, uh, which uh, uh, email software are they using? Uh, they are using uh, gateway.net. And what are they using for email software? Uh, they're, they're, using, they're using the... Uh, Outlook yeah, they're, or Netscape? Outlook. Or uh, Outlook. Or? Yeah, Outlook. Okay. okay, well, let's show you Netscape, because that's what I have learned. <laughs> so, um, but it's the same idea. This Basically, you want to get in and check on two things. You want to check on your identity, and you want to check on the mail server. And you have to make sure that the information in both of those places are essentially the same. So in the identity section, when it asks for your email address, make sure it has the domain name that's for the place that you're dialing in. So if they're dialing into uh, MCI Net or whatever gateway. that one is. They're dialing into Gateway. Gateway. So use the Gateway email Right, address. use the Gateway email address yeah. for the reply to address. Same thing. Some right. ISP check the reply to address to make sure you're doing the same thing, um, et cetera. So make sure in the identity it has all the, all the proper info for the ISP you're dialing up right. into. And similarly, when you check in the mail server places for mail server net username for the outgoing SMTP server, mm -hmm. et cetera, make sure those also are for the same one that you've dialed into. Hey, there's a couple things I'll say here. Uh, <coughs> check and make sure that they don't have a specific SMTP server versus the POP server right. for incoming and outgoing. Some ISPs do have different. It'll be SMTP dot you know, gateway.net or, or something mail. like that. Might and if this is all doesn't make sense, <clears throat> talk to the ISP. Yeah, or just, you know, tape it. this. And then the other thing <laughs> is you can download from both accounts, but you need to send from the one account that you're connected to. Okay, okay Bob, thanks a lot for okay. the help. Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Bob. If you have a question for us, you can give us a call. The number is 1-888-845-6637. Hey, what's that spell, Stephen? No, that doesn't spell Stephen. That spells <laughs> one tut velomer, Mr. Hooked on Phonics. Um, <laughs> or you can send us an email to discdoctors at knowledgetv.com. Hey, when we come back, are you ready for disaster? And stick around for the rest of the show. <laughs> hey, that didn't sound right. Uh, is well, the Mac back on track? I don't know, but Todd is going to give you the lowdown on the new low-priced iMac, and we'll find out. And we're going to talk about how to make that perfect Windows 95 emergency boot disk, so stay tuned.